In the last video, you heard why you shouldn't label your emotions. Well, what should you do then? In any specific scene, take us into the thoughts, the feelings, and the emotions of your character. For instance, when I re recount sitting in my boss's office, and he tells me, your presentations are lousy, fix this or else, my first thought was, what am I supposed to do? I did everything you told me to do. I put all these slides in, and I rehearsed this and practiced it over and over again, and these people hate me. What am I supposed to do? This isn't fair. Help me. Did you feel that as opposed to me saying, oh, I got upset and angry? Big difference, right? So the key to this is take us into your head, take us into the thoughts, specifically what that person says and the way that person said it. If you just read it off in a monotone voice, it's not going to connect as well, obviously. What do you mean? This isn't fair. I worked really hard at this. Okay, nobody feels that way when they're talking in their head. They get upset, they scream, yell, whatever they do. So take us deep into that moment and you will connect with your audience. This is what is meant by don't label your emotions, relive them. In the next video, you'll get an introduction to one of the most important story delivery techniques you can develop. See you then.